What is up everybody? Welcome to today's video. Today's video is just going to be like a POV um cuz uh it's a new boot. Uh, it's been out in some some places have released it already. I was barely able to get my hands on it right now. So this I'm going to show you guys it. See what I think about it, my initial thoughts and then I was thinking maybe later on I would do a play test or something and, and get my real thoughts on it but right now I'm just gonna kind of tell you guys what I think about it by looking at it and and what I see um, if I see any differences or anything like that so let's open up the box in the box of course you seem still get the same regular elite color bo boxes that are you know the silver there you get all your little um, specs legend 9 elite uh, this is the Raudacious pack. Um, for some reason, Nike doesn't have the, the black with like that blue available of the new colorways that came out. Of you know, they released it with the Vapor, the Superfly, uh, the Phantom GT2, which I want to get my hands on that as well. Um, so um, I was, wasn't able to buy that colorway yet, which is the real colorway that I want because I'm just gonna black it out. Um, so therefore. I wanted to get this one since I was able to get my hands on it and then I will probably return these honestly and buy the other colorway that I want once it releases on Nike. So man, let's open it right away. I already opened them and took a look at them because they're just fantastic. Look at these. Look at this. This, this boot looks really, really good. Um, Aesthetically, I, I really like it. It's white though, which is the reason why I don't know if I want to keep it because it's just gonna get very very dirty and I Don't know. I don't know if I like that, but Let's um, Let me show you guys a string bag so then I can get that out of the way Here we'll lay it down here. So you got tempo on one side and then the logo, the temple logo, which I don't know if I like that, that, that temple logo. And at first, the images, I didn't really like that it was going to be on the back of the boot, the logo. I don't know how I feel about the logo. Anyways, there's one boot. Um, so my initial thoughts, first off, having these in hand. They feel very, very light, and I'm gonna weigh them for you guys. They're supposed to be the lightest um, tempo to date, so I'm gonna weigh them to see. Um, I see these the memory foam pads that are built in in here. Um, there is no um, the the quad fit system. There's no longer inside the shoe, so um, a lot of people complained about the Legend Eight, you know, not feeling like leather because of that. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think that was just maybe people just being a little too picky. I thought the eight was still a good boot. Uh, I'm going to compare that one with in the seven and compare it to this one. Um, so I'll give you guys a different, some different looks. Um, but this one feels really, really good. The leather is very, very soft. I don't know if it was, it's softer than on the, the eight. But it's still very good as you can see when it, leather wrinkles you know I'm a, I'm a big shoe guy and not just soccer shoes so therefore you know I grew up wearing a lot of leather and a lot of leather shoes so I kind of know I think what good leather is it smells great here it smells very good <laughs> like leather and of course it's a kangaroo leather um, this this boot honestly honestly if I looking at this and feeling it and having it in hand um to me it's almost like this should have been the eight maybe because it it really reminds me of the seven you know with no quad fit system inside so you're getting the more leather sensation um and then this here this doesn't feel as um elastic -y or fly knit it yeah it doesn't feel as fly knit as on the seven or the eight um, but it still feels pretty good. I don't know if you're a white, white foot. I guess you can probably get your foot in there easier than you would um, on the seven. 
or possibly even the eight. But it's, see, that's the thing. Leather boots are supposed to fit almost everybody and anybody. And I don't know if that's true with these. Um, then this back is some type of synthetic. I don't know what it is or what they're calling it. Um, but it looks like a great boot. And I'm excited. I can't wait to get the black one so I can black it out because, again, if you watch some of my videos, I've really said that I enjoy playing in blackout boots right now because, you know, everybody just wants to play in color and they always got these outrageous colorful boots, which don't get me wrong, this looks amazing, looks awesome, kind of reminds me of the um, 2008, like the Mercurial uh, for the World Cup that they had. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to weigh them for you and then I'll compare them to um, previous models. So let me let me get that stuff. All right, guys, so I have my little scale. Um, hopefully it's accurate. I don't know, but so it's supposed to be the lightest tempo to date. So I'm going to weigh this is a size 10 and a half and it comes in at 7.9. Um, I was weighing them and um, comparing them. See, I have the seven. This is a this is a size 10 and it does in and it has this on it um, so it's coming in at 7.6 which is actually lighter but again it says you know point half a size difference and then this is the 8 and that comes at 7.9 so I don't know how truthful that is that it's the lightest um, things are gonna vary I guess um, but yeah um, so moving forward I wanted to quickly compare you know the last couple generations of temples that we've had and to me again like I said I feel like it should have gone from the seven to this one being the eight they look more closely um, related um, than this one this one is like aesthetically it just looks different you know you can't you can tell these are based off the same model if you can you know to me anyway you know both have this little like I said again this is the flying it here I don't know if this is flying it but it's much looser I don't know if that's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing because you know obviously you want to be able to lace them up tight and get some good lockdown um, and then there's the eight that's just I th I don't know I feel like this would have been the nine barely releasing but then people would have really had problems with it so who knows and if you know Nike or how any companies work I believe uh, they already have their stuff you know works for a very very long time so it could have been they could have done that they could have said let's release this one now instead and make it the eight you know, and they, you know, they have ideas of certain stuff that they want to bounce around and throw around out there, and then they'll just perfect it. For some reason, maybe they decided to um, skip switch them. I don't know. I'm just speculating because, again, this one is very, very closely related more to the seven, and I love the seven. I really, really love it. Um, it's a great uh, boot. I've got to score some goals with it. Um, so yeah, I know I'm gonna love this one. Um, right now, my favorite shoe, my favorite shoe, besides a Mercurial, um, but even above it right now, I flip-flop between wearing uh, Mercurials and wearing the Puma King Platinum. I love that boot. Um, if I could only choose one boot for the rest of my time that I'm playing soccer before I, when I end up retiring and I all of a sudden done, they asked me what my favorite boot was, it's probably the Puma King Platinum and I would wear that all the time. It's not a speed boot, but it is light. I love that it's leather and it's light. That makes it all much better. So I really, really have high hopes for this one. Um, hopefully uh, it, it does, if it is anything close to that, to the Puma King Platinum to me, I'll love it. I will love it and I will buy multiple pairs of it for sure. Um, so yeah, that's, I really, really love the, the Platinum, Puma King Platinum that much. Um, the Blackout version is amazing. Um, and so yeah, if, if that can, can come, 
any any little any little bit give me any of the same sensations that that one does i will really really love this temple anyway so stud pattern basically it's going to be the same it's still the hyper stability see the bottom of that one they don't really change um much for that all they did was change the um thing that's right here as you can see on the seven and eight it's more like triangular i guess but for some reason obviously they you know did that um so yeah guys i i'm gonna get these on field and get a play test coming soon hopefully in the next couple days if i can if it doesn't rain and i can get out to a field and you know um get that i'll do that i'm gonna do a, i want to do something different for instead of just like doing like a kick you know kicking the ball around and, and and just showing you guys i'm actually going to talk about what the boot feels like as i am kicking as i am taking shots and give you guys kind of a live um opinion on the boot because so many people i've seen on youtube they just wear the boot whatever try it out and then they come back and report but i want to give my initial reactions to the new temple and um yeah i have high hopes for it i think it's going to be a good good um good shoe moving forward that'll probably be around for maybe two years i'm sure they have a lot of colorways lined up and i look forward to it um drop a like if you guys like this video if you like this way of doing it again like i said i wanted a pov something where it's just concentrated all on the boot and you know that not necessarily me having to be in front of the camera um and uh yeah um if you're new here go ahead and subscribe please i'm still on trying to get a thousand subscribers it's not looking very good right now but i don't post enough so i try to post more um yeah uh and give me a comment are you excited to try the new nine are you a fan of the seven or the eight more i don't think a lot of people really like this one um i don't think it's too bad i played in other colorways and it was okay i guess i don't know i don't i don't know why they needed this um st uh, texturized pattern on it or something i don't know yeah but yeah but this one very very great boot i love it um another good one um so like again high hopes for this one hopefully it performs well and and does what i want it to do but anyways with that being said guys thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos we'll see you guys in the next one peace